And I said something to him and walked out the studio. He said, yo, I'ma drug their ass off and pick them up and, and, and pip them out to my, <laughs> pip them out to my nigga. Y'all, it's looking like Diddy's dark past is coming to light and it's not pretty at all. Don Richard from Danity Kane just dropped a lawsuit bomb that's got everybody talking. But hold on, cause it's not just about Don. We're talking about every single member of Danity Kane because Gene Dill just leaked a shocking video of Diddy selling the Danity Kane girls to his friends to rough up and do what they want to the girls. Don's lawsuit is spilling all types of tea and Gene Dill's video, it's straight up explosive. Y'all, we're about to dive deep into some really messy business here. But what exactly did Diddy do to these girls? And how deep does this rabbit hole go? Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around for this one because the truth is about to come out and it's not pretty. Okay, so Don Richards' lawsuit isn't just spilling tea, it's tumbling the entire kettle. How much do you think it costs to buy someone's silence? Because the price tag on this scandal is gonna shock you. So Don Richard from Danity Kane just dropped a lawsuit that's got everybody talking. And let me tell you, it's crazy. She's coming at Diddy with some serious allegations that'll make your skin crawl. For a you might find yourself without a job or worse. And it's no wonder no one spoke up before now. They were probably scared out of their minds. Now let's talk about all these NDAs for a second. Jean says Diddy had everybody signing these agreements that basically said, keep your mouth shut or else. It's like he was building this wall of silence around all this nasty stuff going on. So y'all, when you put Gene's story next to Don's lawsuit, it's looking like two sides of the same coin. They're talking about how Diddy treated these young women like they were his property, enough to make you just sick. Well, Gene is not holding back either. He's saying Diddy's behavior towards Danny Decane was allegedly straight up predatory. Like he wasn't just being a jerk boss. He was allegedly actively trying to take advantage of the kids and walked out. And you know what's really messed up? Gene is saying that it wasn't just a Diddy problem. It was like his toxic culture spread all through the music industry. It's like Diddy was just one big nasty fish in a whole pond of them. According to Gene Dill, the whole music industry has been built on quicksand and now it's all starting to sink. We're talking about a culture of exploitation that's been going on for years and it's not just one bad apple, it's the whole orchard. You know how they say when it rains, it pours? Well, it's a straight up storm with Diddy right now. We're talking at least seven women and one man coming forward with similar claims. It's like once Cassie spoke up, the floodgates opened. And let me tell you, these stories they're telling, it's crazy, it makes your hair stand up. But let's talk about Cassie for a second. Her lawsuit was like gasoline. Suddenly all these other folks who had been quiet for years felt like they could finally speak up. It was Cassie giving them the green light and courage to come forward and tell their story. But this is what got me shook. There are so many more people that were complicit in Diddy shenanigans. And Don's lawsuit revealed Usher and Neil for allegedly turning a blind eye. According to Don, they saw Diddy put hands on Cassie and didn't do a thing to help her or stop Diddy. But the question here is, were they scared to speak up or did they just not care? Either way, it's a horrible look. And this whole situation is shining a light on how the music industry has been operating in the shadows for way too long. It's like there's this unspoken rule. What happens in the studio stays in the studio. But now that rule is getting broken and the truth is spilling out faster than a busted fire hydrant in Bronx. And y'all, it's crazy. We're talking about some system where powerful men like Diddy could do whatever they wanted and nobody would say boo. It's like these big shots thought they were untouchable, that they could treat people however they wanted and get away with it. And for a while they did, but it's not just about Diddy. It's about all the other big names who might be sweating right now, wondering if they're next and should be because let's be real if this kind of stuff is going on with diddy who's to say it wasn't happening elsewhere too i mean if diddy was allegedly selling danity kane to his friends what's to say about his friends who were doing the same thing too or buying these girls the scary part is this might just be the beginning or the tip of the iceberg who knows how many more stories are out there just waiting to be told how many more artists have been suffering in silence too afraid to speak up so yeah, y'all, this might just be the start of something crazy big. There's got to be more 
stories just waiting to be told. And Diddy, is he going to try to settle with Don out of court too, or is he going to try to fight this time? It's kind of hard to tell because Diddy has so many pending lawsuits against him that his lawyers are probably working triple overtime. Y'all, I just know these lawyers are eating good every time someone else comes forward to accuse him. But I gotta know what y'all think about this. Do you believe that there are even more people that will come forward with their own stories? And what about the rest of the industry? Is this gonna be the start of a big cleanup or are they gonna try to sweep it all under the rug? Well, y'all know the fans have been all over it. They believe in comments saying 15 pages into Don Richard's lawsuit against Diddy. And I'm convinced that this ninja is the Antichrist. I've sat here and read this whole Don Richard versus Diddy lawsuit and I'ma just say this, Diddy needs to be under the effing jail. Everybody associated with that man needs to go down too. And whew, justice for Don Richard, the more we hear about Diddy, the more of a degenerate he appears to be. This man has hurt a lot of people and deserves to be under the jail. But I gotta know what y'all think about this because Don was just a part of Diddy's last album. Is she gonna get justice? Is Diddy gonna pay out? Drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.